Multifocal displays are a well-studied solution to address the virgin's accommodation conflict of fixed-focused head-mounted displays. Consider this rendered scene with content ranging from near the viewer to far into the distance. Unlike conventional head-mounted displays, multifocal systems utilize multiple independent display planes. As first introduced by Akeley and others, volumetric rendering principles are adapted to spread the depiction of scene elements across these layers. When viewed from the fixed perspective of the viewer's entrance pupil, these images come into precise alignment. The layered decomposition provides additional degrees of freedom, which allows a more accurate reconstruction of images as the user accommodates to various distances. As shown here, the retinal blur is accurately depicted, and the lamp post comes in and out of focus as the user accommodates. While providing compelling results, multifocal displays are not without their limitations. As shown here, eye rotation and head movements easily break the underlying assumption of a fixed viewpoint. Thus, the display planes no longer align and artifacts appear as blur around the objects, which greatly reduces image quality. In this paper, we develop a real-time gaze correction algorithm that deforms the multi-layered imagery to align to a shifted eye as measured by an eye tracking system. This process is lightweight, efficiently implemented on a GPU, and can be applied to any scene decomposition method. Multifocal displays are also limited by the computational requirements of prior decomposition algorithms. In this work, we report the first high-quality multifocal decomposition method that can operate at interactive frame rates. We accelerate the prior state-of-the-art method of Narayan et al. by three orders of magnitude. Here we show a side-by-side -side comparison assuming equal runtimes. Note that halos and other blurry artifacts are eliminated with our efficient decomposition method. Our contributions are not limited to algorithms alone. We report our development of the first multifocal testbed combining integrated eye tracking and accommodation measurement. This system contains four primary elements. First, we create a three-plane multifocal display for the right eye using a set of OLED displays. This configuration is mirrored for the left eye, creating a binocular system. As highlighted here, a model-based eye tracking system employs a pair of high-speed cameras and infrared LEDs. Finally, the accommodation measurement system uses a state-of-the-art Shaq Hartmann wavefront sensor. Let's consider each of these components in more detail. The OLED displays are mechanically actuated and support an accommodation range of 17 diopters. This large range eliminates the need for many users to wear additional corrective eyewear, directly facilitating eye tracking and accommodation measurements. Here we visualize how a single pixel on each display generates rays that propagate through the optical system. These rays continue through the relay optics and eventually pass through the designed eye box. Shown in green is the eye tracking imaging path. We also depict the position of a user in the system. Finally, a superluminescent diode is used to illuminate the user's retina. The image of this diode reflects back into the system and is sampled by the wavefront sensor. The measured wavefront aberration is processed to determine the user's accommodation state. Here we show a dynamic sequence captured in real time in our system. With our current implementation, our testbed can run at up to 5 frames per second. This frame rate is significantly faster than the minute long decomposition times reported by previous work and enables the high-quality decomposition of dynamic content for multifocal systems. See the paper for more details on the frame rates achievable with our system. We also show the effects of eye movements by capturing a sequence with a camera offset by 2 mm from the center of the eye box. We oscillate the focus using a varifocal lens, and the video is sped up to more easily observe the effect. Without correcting for the offset camera position, the misalignment causes a significant loss of resolution as the camera focuses on the eye charts. After our correction is applied, the full resolution offered by the decomposition is recovered. This shows that eye correction is crucial to enable multifocal systems with large eye boxes. In conclusion, this paper focuses on resolving two long-standing limitations of multifocal displays. The need for eye tracking and its efficient integration into multifocal systems, as well as the need for a decomposition algorithm amenable to real-time applications. With these developments, we unlock the use of multifocal displays for practical applications. Our method can be used to drive a testbed to answer important perceptual questions about multifocal displays, which we hope will encourage further research in this field.